Today, I am marrying my best friend. I know that's cliche, but it is absolutely true. No one else on this earth can handle my level of weird one minute and my excessive crying the next. You are there for me when I need you the most, and as much as I hate to admit it, I love when you are next to me. We all know I have big dreams and expectations. Some might even call me high maintenance. But the single most important and easiest decision I've ever made is to start a life with you. Danielle, finally, today has come. It's the day I get to marry you, my best pal. You have proven to be the best friend I could ever ask for. You support me, always push me to be a better man, and have made it clear I will always have someone in my corner. Over seven years, we have gone from college freshmen figuring out a long distance relationship to moving in together, and yes, deciding that we still in fact love each other. And finally, to today, the day we promised to spend the rest of our lives together. I have never been so sure of anything in my entire life. Danielle and Phil have already shared so many memories together, and of course they'll share a lot more. They have found true love that a lot of people spend a lifetime searching for. They are truly themselves together and complement each other in every way. On your marriage journey, however, you will find that love and commitment is filled with giving and taking, ups and downs, highs and lows. But with their love, I have all the faith in the world that they will conquer it all. This is truly a day where two spirits have found each other and will commit to a lifetime of ridiculousness together. I'm Danielle's older sister, and when I was seven years old, I met her. You were just born, but I was so thankful to be having a baby sister. I was ecstatic to have my own real life baby doll. Phil, you make my sister the happiest girl in the world. You encourage her, you challenge her, you listen to her, you support her, and most importantly, you love her. And he's the perfect man for my baby doll. Today marks a new chapter in your journey together. But no matter what life throws your way, I know your love will pull you through. I met Phil in the summer of 2008. Philip was 12 or 13 years old. That initial meeting of Philip, I decided, hey man, we're gonna create a secret best friend's handshake. It's so weird, you know what I mean? It's, it's just a handshake, but it's something so special that I don't do with anyone else. <laughs> and that was also part of it, like him welcoming me into his family. I am super thankful to be your best man. I am super grateful to be a part of this today. And I am so glad to have you part of the family. A good wine is like a good marriage. It is the result of many years of hard work. There is an unhurried nurturing of the wine and tender care of the grape. Thoughtful mix of ingredients, patient fermenting. This all yields the unique flavors of each passing year. To symbolize and celebrate the blending of your two lives into one, I invite you to perform the wine ceremony. The drinking of the combined wines signifies the commitment you now make to live your lives as one family.
Phil and Danielle, by the power vested in me by the state of Maryland, under the eyes of God, I happily pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. gentlemen, for the first time in a semi-public venue, Mr. and Mrs. Philip Addington. Welcome everyone to this joyous occasion. Pooh Bear. You know, I love you so much, and I always want the best for you. Today, I really think you married the best guy for the job. All right, so everybody raise your glass. To Danielle and Phil, may you have a lifetime filled with love and happiness together. Cheers. <laughs>